So for example, people question and say, is, is building information modeling all about large projects? This is this Arup, and I think we've got Arup in the room as well today. But just to show Leaden Hall, very large project in the UK. These are the types of models that engineers are building in, in the UK with Arup. You can see very complex, very architecturally exposed steelworks, so it's, it's essential that they get the model right. And this is really the, the key is, is making sure that during that design phase we can actually explain to all project parties how this, this building will come together and how the structure will look at the end of it. Here's quite interesting, again, taking this node, this one of these mega nodes that got on the particular frame, and then linking that through the engineers, taking the model, linking that through to the finite element analysis to be able to look at how this particular um, design should work, but also linking this through with the steel fabricator to say, how can you actually manufacture this as well? And on the previous slide, you could see they're working with the steel design consultants to say, how would you actually manufacture and how would you fabricate this? And they were involved very early on the project to say, well, this is how the design works, this is how we're going to fabricate it. So again, not doing detail in our particular stage, but actually using the model to engineer those details. So that's the best way of explaining that. Again, producing the drawings to show how these mega nodes will actually come together, how they would actually build them. Taking the model all the way from design, analysis, and through to fabrication. A different benefit from what we saw in the previous one, taking the model through to the, the construction site. But again, another project from Arabs, a smaller project, a much simpler project, but they're still getting the benefits of building information modeling. They're still using the model to the same level of degree, and here we've got an existing structure and also a new structure. So modeling the existing structure so they can then coordinate with the new design, and obviously then producing all the fabrications, all the general arrangement drawings at engineering level. <coughs> but also doing design coordination with other sub-trades, so mechanical, electrical, and piping bringing those together to do that design coordination, to do the clash detection through the model, not relying on 2D drawings of, of inter-service um, discipline drawings. Some of the benefits that Arabs are seeing just internally, by engineers, CAD guys working together, working collaboratively in the model, this is within Arabs itself, not externally, as we've seen on some of the other projects with all those different members sharing models, but even in there they're saying they're saving 10% internal efficiency savings by using the model, using it to do things like model review, Checking, drawing output, and RFI queries, queries through the model, not relying upon the 2D drawing markup.